Right there guys, so welcome to yet another mini Warhammer 6 edition campaign. Um, this campaign is going to be the Grudge of Drom. Drom. Okay, so um, some of you may have seen we did the Idol of Gork last time, so now we're on to the Grudge of Drom, so a bit more dwarf action. Mm -hmm. Sam's desperate to uh, exact revenge on me <laughs> and get some, uh, get some dwarf action going on. Yeah. Um, so the first scenario is um, one where the dwarves have got to try and maintain their mining activity in the area. Okay, so the background behind this is that uh, Lord Drong has got an estranged wife, Queen Helga. Mm. And they've had a bit of a Barney by the sounds of things. And um, so this area is under the control of Queen Helga. Um, Crud's dwarves are the miners in the area and they supply obviously all the ore that's required and fuel etc for the war machines. So Sam needs to win this one in order to ensure that he has access to more than one war machine in the last battle. And spoiler alert, if you watch the previous uh, one you'll see what happens when unfortunately Sam only gets one war machine. <laughs> okay. So he really wants to change that and get an like, extra, extra few war machines for the last big battle. Okay, so this is a series of four games uh, or four scenarios. Um, and each one will have a uh, reflection on the later final game. Okay, so um, today we are going to be fighting um, the Battle of Grudge Pass. All right. Um, so uh, Sam's going to be running the Crud's Rebels. Um, now these are quite rebellious to the point where they're actually drunk. All right. So the special rules um, at the start of each of um, the dwarfs' turn, he has to roll dice for each unit. Uh, they may stand still and puke and do nothing, so a bit like uh, Orphan Goblin Animosity. Uh, they may do nothing untoward or they may stumble forward one inch per rank. So reflecting the fact the others or dwarves behind are pushing forward in drunken bravado in order to try and maim the elves. Okay. Um, there is a sudden death uh, victory, which is if Crud himself dies. Um, then the high elves will win. Otherwise, it will be played over five turns. Uh, at the end of five turns, if Crud is still alive, uh, then it'll be down to victory points. Okay. Yeah. All right. So the the board is set. Uh, we have two mines and uh, a couple of hills, but a fairly open bit in the middle. Um, dwarves will get the first turn, and uh, once we've deployed, we'll be back with you and we'll go through the armies. Okay. Good luck. Thank you. <laughs> uh, the other thing just to note uh, before we go off and uh, show you the armies is uh, what we've done, we've done a direct replication of the armies from the book in this one. In the pre previous one we had to use uh, a proxy army which was allowed in the back of the book, um, so uh, it was dwarves in place of empire. Uh, now we did establish that that skewed it a little bit in favour of the orcs and goblins. Uh, this time around it's dwarves and high elves as was the scenario that was written. Um, and what we've done, we've taken the fifth ed armies and just converted them across because we can. Uh, so we haven't had to actually create any armies. What that has meant is we've had a little bit of point disparity between 5th and 6th. So this should be a 1500 point battle. Uh, the dwarves are rocking in at 1336 and the elves are rocking in at about 1160. So we'll see what sort of difference that makes as well between 5th and 6th. Right, okay, so uh, we'll get to it. Speak to you in a moment. Okay, so here we have the uh, dwarf thunderers, uh, unit of 15. Um, we have 15 iron breakers, we have a unit of um, 30 um, dwarf warriors and then we have the unit of 30 uh, miners who are led by Crud and a thane with a runic banner. Okay, so that's where they've set up. Uh, there's the first mine, uh, the other mine entrance is just here. So Shadow Warriors have set up behind the far right hand hill and then we have two units of Elf Archers, unit of 20 Elf Spearmen accompanied by the Wizard and then a unit of 5 Silver Helms accompanied by Fendor the Elf Lord. And there we have deployment. So Dwarves have uh, won the uh, right to go first through the scenario rules. So, roll a dice for each of your units, see if they're drunk. Yes. So, Thunderers. Uh, they are okay. And then 
Iron Breakers. They're okay. Warriors. All right, so they're going to puke. <laughs> and then the Miners. And they're okay. So, uh, the, um, however, the Thunderers and the Miners do get pushed forward. Yes. So they're not puking, but they do go forward. So the Thunderers got two ranks. So they go two. Uh, three, isn't it? Not plus one for every rank. Oh, yeah. So three inch move. So this move doesn't count as actually their movement, so they will still be able to move, but they won't be able to shoot, obviously, because they've got handguns. Um, uh, the miners will just rock up to the back of the iron breakers. So they can't go through the unit. And uh, that's it. So uh, obviously no charges to declare. And uh, we'll be back with um, the end of the movement phase. Okay, so the Iron Breakers just moved a little bit further forward with a bit of a wheel. The Thunderers have moved to the edge of the hill as they couldn't fire this turn anyway due to drunkenness. Um, they've decided to gain a little bit of uh, distance advantage. And that is fundamentally the end of Dwarf Turn 1. Okay, so the Elves have uh, repositioned as the Dwarves are fairly static and the Elves need to get into them. Um, so uh, basically just a lot of redeployment. Uh, magic phase is fairly dull. Um, the... Uh, Elf Mage had uh, the amazing spell of Walk Between Worlds, and um, so he's cast that on himself, so he's Ethereal. Um, other than that, that's basically it. Uh, on to shooting, so the only option really is if they're in range is this unit here, who are going to try a shot at the Thunderers. Uh, so we're going to just see if that's in 30 inches, uh, which it is yes. just. Okay, so that's five shots coming in. Uh, minus one for moving, minus one for long range. So uh, we are going to be hitting on fives. Um, three successes, fives to wound, nothing. There we go, that's as good as it gets for the elf turn one. Uh, dwarf turn two. Okay, so we're going to uh, roll for the dwarf drunkenness in turn two. Uh, so thunderers, roll away. Uh, two, There's they are perfectly five. okay. Uh, uh, iron breakers. Iron breakers. Uh, they are also okay. Uh, warriors. Yep. Uh, yep, they've recovered from their puking. <laughs> and then the miners. Uh, they're okay as well. So there we go. Okay, dwarf move. Okay, so dwarf movement. Um, again, just a little bit of repositioning. And um, the thunderers are going to open up on the silver helms. Um, so long range, but you get plus one for firing rifles, don't you? Yep. So it's fours again. Okay, and uh, Silver Helms are toughness three, so three's to wound. Uh, four. And uh, armor piercing, isn't it? Uh, doesn't say. Minus two. Yeah. Okay, so fives. And uh, that'd be four dead Silver Helms. That'd be impressive. And um, a panic check, which they also fail. Yay for me! Oh no, brilliant. Okay, so uh, they retreat back and they go eight inches backwards. There we go. Okay, so with that disastrous turn for the High Elves, um, the Elf Lord has managed to rally and the um, Spearmen and the Archers also passed their panic checks prior to that. Um, other than that, uh, Shadow Warriors have moved, Spearmen have moved forward a little bit. Not really a huge amount that they could do this turn. So, um, shooting phase, well, magic phase again, going to cast um, um, Walk Between Worlds, goes off on six, seven. I'm going to try and dispel it. Uh, yeah, go for it. Oh, I'll get plus one, eight. Ah, uh, yeah, you dispel it. Okay, so level one wizard against uh, dwarf uh, magic immunity, not going to go well for me either with my highly efficient spell that I've got. <laughs> well, for all those doubters, Sam's already won this one, but we'll keep going <laughs> and I'll get revenge. Okay, so uh, shooting phase. Uh, high off archers against the thunderers on the hill. Getting on fours this time for range. That's four hits and fives to wound. Uh, one this time. Oh, six up save. Yeah. Nope, right. one dead. Okay, um, the Shadow Warriors will now fire. 
So the Shadow Warriors managed to take one of the um, Dwarf Warriors down. Archers managed to take a Thunderer down. Two Dead Dwarves. Dwarf turn three. Okay, so uh, Drunkard Roll. Thunderers. Oh, they're moving forward. They're yeah. not shooting this turn. Uh, Iron Breakers. Staying where they are. Warriors. Staying where they are. Oh, no, look. They're moving forward. And Miners. They're, they're staying stuff. where they are. Yeah, they're definitely staying where they are. So, uh, the Wolf Warriors are going to sort of uh, charge forward. Um, so what we got? One, well, six ranks, isn't it? Yes. So six inch move. Look at that for dwarves. Almost brought you in charge range. <laughs> uh, six ranks. They automatically go one. Oh, maximum four. Oh. There we go. Back one. Okay. And then... Thunderers. Uh, Thunderers. Uh, you've only got one complete rank, so two inches. Stumble forward, but it does get you off the hill. Take that, you drunkard. What's it? Okay, so, uh, any more moves? Because uh, we know there's no magic phase or shooting phase. Well, I still get to shoot. Oh yeah, minus one. Oh, yeah. Oh yeah, okay. <laughs> uh, I think they uh, no, they don't. I don't think... Do they? Because they've got... Fun. No, it's only if they could shoot. Because they've moved, I don't think they can. Because you've got reload, haven't you? Oh, yeah. Yeah, move or fire. Yeah. So, yeah, they're not shooting. So, I think these will just... Try and keep up with their drunken friends. Yeah. Yeah. Okay, that's, that's the end of Dwarf turn uh, three. <laughs> yep. Wow. <laughs> okay, so Elf turned three. Um, the Lord has left the Silver Helms. Um, other than that, pretty much... Uh, or the spearmen have uh, turned and moving around to try and move towards the thunderers. They definitely want them. That's going to be easier than taking on 15 iron breakers, I think. Right, so shooting phase coming up. Uh, oh, magic phase for those that care. Uh, nothing happened. Irresistible dispel. Um, even though the only thing I can cast is to make me after all. <laughs> wow, might as well bring some pea shooters. So, uh, the Elf Archers are going to shoot at the Thunderers again, and um, get three successes, and no wounds, impressive, and the Shadow Warriors are going to shoot at the Warriors again, uh, two sort of saves to make, uh, two dead. And then this unit of elves, they did move and they are at long range, so uh, they get a minus one, minus two in fact, so uh, two hits. No wounds. And that ends elf turn three. Dwarf turn three. Four. Dwarf turn four. Okay, drunkard roll. Thunderers. Oh, oh. they uh, move forward. Uh, Iron Breakers. Uh, they also move forward. Uh, warriors. Uh, they stay with it. Oh, they can just move normally. And then Miners. Uh, they move forward. Okay, so a lot of moving forward. Okay, so at the end of the Dwarf movement phase, uh, Thunderers can't shoot as they've uh, stumbled forward. Uh, the Iron Breakers have continued their move forward. Miners have decided to start coming forward now, although probably a bit too late. And the Dwarf Warriors move forward a little bit. So that's the end of the Dwarf move. Uh, elf turn four. Okay, so, um, yeah, Elf deployment, uh, or Elf end of movement. So um, Spearmen have run out the way of a side charge from the drunkard Iron Breakers, who were faster than I expected. <laughs> uh, over that, the uh, Archer circle stays where it is. Uh, Silver Helms have moved, and the Elf Lord has repositioned himself. Uh, so magic phase, uh, I'm going to do um, ethereal whatever it is, and goes off on a 10 effectively because I get plus one. And uh, yeah, dispelled yes again. Um, Sam's loving his dispel. So uh, on to shooting. Um, we're going to have five shots into the warriors first of all. Um, two, yeah it's going to be out of half range. And then one save to make. 
Nope, one dead. Um, Shadow Warriors, same target. Uh, these will be in half. Nothing. Uh, these elves down here, we'll put some more fire into the thunderers. Three. Uh, oh, three saves. Sixes. Oh, if only I could force some panic <laughs> check, but I can't because they're drunk. Uh, about three more dead. Thunderers. Okay, so that is the end of Elf Turn 4. Uh, dwarf last turn. <laughs> Okay, so um, drunkenness test for the Thunderers. Uh, um, they are okay. Right. Uh, Ironbreakers. Yep. Uh, they're okay. Oh, no, they're not. They're moving uh, they're forward. They're moving forward. Warriors. Uh, oh, they're, they're puking. <laughs> and miners. Uh, oh, they okay. are bimbling forward as well. Yes. Okay, so we've got um, three inch move for the Ironbreakers. Straight forward. Still going to be out of charge, right? <laughs> <laughs> we have a four inch for the miners. And then two for the thunderers. Mm. They were okay. Thunderers were okay. Were they? Yeah. You rolled a um, three. Oh, I should go back. But they we had to shoot. If we can see anything. Um, uh, your shooting phase. Well, I'm going to wheel these in their movement phase. Yep. Shooting phase first then. No, it's not. Not what I'm talking about. <laughs> Ignore me. <laughs> Getting so excited about dwarves moving. <laughs> uh, and then shooting phase. Yep. I think my thunderers will try and shoot your... I think my thunderers will try and shoot at your spearmen. Okay, so you've got two shots. And um, be over half range. Uh, so neck falls needed. And that's the end of dwarf turn. Yep. Okay, so um, elf charges to declare. Okay, so um, the only charge was uh, the Elf Lord and two Silver Helms, just on principle, going to go in and try and uh, kill a couple of dwarves. Um, other than that, pretty much shooting. So, um, five shots onto the Thunderers. Uh, one. And wound. And one dead Thunderer. Five onto the Warriors. Nothing. And the Shadow Warriors. Uh, Get you set the range if they're in 15. Yeah. One. And another dwarf dies. Well, at least some dwarves are dead. <laughs> Uh, right, um, I didn't bother with the magic phase as basically you couldn't shoot me so there was no point in trying to get a miscast because you know it would have happened. Uh, <laughs> right then, so uh, combat phase. Uh, we have um, the elf lord and then we have three horses and we have three attacks from the silver helm. So we'll do the horses first. Um, hit it on fours. One success. Power to win. That's the horse is done. Well done. Uh, the champion and the silver helm. Uh, weapon skill of four. Nope. Silver helm's weapon skill of four. Yeah. So uh, your iron breakers are weapon skill four. Uh, weapon skill five. Five. Four is needed with hatred. Two successes uh, with lances. So strength six. Two's to kill. Two's to, what's your arm save? Uh, two up in combat. Okay. Uh, two wounds at minus three, so fives. Two dead. 
and then the uh, silver helm not silver helm the elf prince weapon skill seven hit on threes in fact hitting on twos because it's plus one to hit uh, blade of dart and steel good job uh, two saves to make at minus minus one minus one two oh. dead so your champion can fight back Um, needs force to hit. One hit with hatred. Uh, strength. Is strength four. So uh, that is going to be a three to wound. And that is one silver helm dead. Okay, so work out combat res. So the dwarves uh, lost the combat and uh, by one, so um, leadership nine down to eight, uh, which they fail. Two d six minus one. Uh, nine, I will follow. Oh, how depressing! <laughs> Two units. So the silver helm fails to catch him. See if the dwarf, uh, see if the elf prince does. So uh, would you roll ten, wouldn't it? So nine. And the Elf Prince does cut them down on his own. So that'd be a bunch of dead iron breakers. Yes, it is. Right then, so uh, almost impossible uh, <laughs> game for the High Elves ended in... Yes. In the win. Was it solid victory, was it? It was, yeah. Solid victory, uh, thanks to the iron breakers. Uh, feeling a bit, bit iffy. They decided they had had enough <laughs> and ran away. Um, so, yeah, I mean, really, really tricky. Um, Sam really should have stayed at home. Um, yeah, I don't really, I mean, that, from my point of view, uh, knew I had to control the battlefield, so I went through all three quarters as he'd castled up. Um, and then was lucky at the end, really. Uh, if it hadn't been for that, uh, lucky attack at the end and having lost the silver helms would have been a draw i think which would have then subsequently given the dwarves the victory as they would have held the uh, mining area as it is uh basically i've skirted around created a corn well cornered off the board really uh, not allowing him access to his mines and encamped you yeah with archers yeah i mean i was only um uh, three thunderers away from taking that unit. Yeah. I just didn't have enough archers on that side. So again, in hindsight, I probably should have set up a bit more aggressively. Um, but I know what thunderers can do, and I've only got light armor on my elves, so that would bullets would have just come straight through them. Um, and I knew you were going to stick them on the hill. <laughs> so ten ten shots with thunderers against five shots with bows <laughs> wasn't going to be nice. Um, as it happened, the drunkenness actually worked in my favor. I think they only shot twice. Um, so yeah, um, it will go down in the book of high elf uh, humour, uh, only having lost uh, three silver helms, uh, or four silver helms I think in the end. Um, so four elves dead, four, is that 20 something dwarves? Yeah. Yes, yeah, so that's an elf win really isn't it? Yeah. So what's to scenario two? Yeah. Uh, which is um, a chance for uh, Sam to avoid an ambush, <laughs> but we shall see. So we'll see you soon. Check it out.